Well, days after the governor's veto of the pollinator bill was overridden by the legislature, a local distillery is taking time to honor the bees. ABC 22's Malachi Flynn has more. It's pollinator week at Bar Hill Gin Distillery in Montpelier. It's hosting classes and workshops to help visitors learn about the role bees and other pollinators play in agriculture. It's an important issue for Bar Hill president and head distiller Ryan Christensen as he uses 150,000 pounds of raw honey a year to make his gin. Our job as, um, as a brand um, is to make sure that we're activating the importance around pollinators. You know, obviously everything that we do in this distillery depends on honey depends on the work of the bees. Outside of this distillery in our communities, you know, the importance of pollinators, you know, it impacts the groceries at our, at our, at our food stores. It impacts, you know, what we're feeding our kids. This week, Bar Hill offered classes on creating a suitable pollinator habitat with flowers and herbs, much like the one growing outside the distillery's entrance. It also partnered with Be the Change, a Vermont family farm that supports pollinators and strives to strengthen their habitat by increasing plant biodiversity. What we do is take the space that usually is a monoculture of lawn and try and create a biodiversity so that there's many different flowering plants and many different host species. So far, we've created the equivalent of every Vermont household doing a 12 by 12 pollinator garden. Kiernan added that Vermont's recent approval of a neonicotinoid pesticide ban is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to saving pollinators. This was the distillery's first pollinator week, but Christensen says there will be more to come. Another pollinator support initiative is coming up in the fall, featuring a special cocktail, the Bee's Knees, that customers can share on social media to support pollinator habitat growth. Reporting in Montpelier, Malachi Flynn, ABC 22 News.